Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Fa and for today's video I am going to be unboxing and reviewing this brand new bag that I've been wishing for. Actually, it's my dream bag. Ever since I saw it, ever since it came out, I was like, this bag. I've basically waited two months. Now that it's finally here, let's get right into the unboxing. For your information, this is a part of a new collection, which is the Triumph Canvas collection. Lisa from Blackpink actually introduced me to this. I mean, she's the Celine House Ambassador, Global Ambassador. And when I saw it, I was really in love with this bag in particular. Anyway, I'm gonna try to be as quick as possible. Um, I ordered my bag from the official Celine website. It came with the box for the bag itself and a little envelope and a letter. So if you want to resale these then you should keep this. Anyway, I'm gonna put this on the side. Here's the box. It's a very simple minimalistic white box. Let's open her up. I'm very happy and excited right now. Oh my gosh. Ta-da! So there's a dust bag on the inside. Sometimes I talk way too much, so I apologize for that. But let me just show you. This is the dust bag. Really nice. Ah! Here it is! Wow! Oh my God. Sorry, I'm just so excited. It doesn't have a strong smell, by the way. It just smells like a brand new bag. This bag retails... Let me check. So yes, the name of this bag is Triumph Shoulder Bag in Triumph Canvas and Calfskin. Sorry if I pronounce Triumph wrong. I'm trying to pronounce it in a French way, but... Um, and the color of this, they call it the color tan, but it's basically brown. <laughs> it's like dark brown, but it's not the white one, which is um, kind of like a cream color. So this bag retails for 1,650 euros. Uh, yes, I know, it's very expensive, but actually, for being a luxury designer bag like Celine herself, it's actually not that bad of a price. And I can assure you that this bag will go up in price. I guess it's somewhat an investment. And who knows how long they will keep this collection. But anyway, let me just take off this plastic protection from the straps. So it has leather straps really beautiful tan leather. What I love about these straps is that you can adjust it. It's like a belt. Oh wait, there's a little tiny plastic on here. So let's take that off. And it has this beautiful gold detail. So let me adjust this. Right now it only came with like three holes. You can of course make your own to adjust it how short you want it or how long you want it. So this is the shortest it can get. Wow, okay, I'm not even done <laughs> unboxing it. Oh wait, there's like plastic on here, so let me take that off. It can be very satisfying. Oh wait, <laughs> just peeled off the halfway. Ta-da, wow. Let's just open her up, push it on the side like that. Open it up. Wow, it's a Celine Paris in here. Let's take off this plastic thing that's inside. And that's how it looks like on the inside. It has a little pocket here and then it's like one big room. Well, on this little pocket room I showed you, it came with a little tag made in Italy. Yes! Wow! I know it looks really small. Some people prefer to have bigger bags. Some people like this type of small bags. I personally prefer these type of small bags. Um, I don't like to carry a lot. I mean, whenever I have bigger bags, I tend to also carry a lot more. And it's really heavy, especially during those days. In the city, you want to walk around a lot. And wait, how do you even close this? I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Put it back in. Ta-da! <laughs> I think this looks really good, especially if you are wearing white. Right now, I have black and white. But I am sure it fits pretty much anything because this has such a neutral color, right? It's like dark brown and it has gold on it. Um, it's basically leather color here. It should fit most things. If you are a very colorful person, I'm sure this would also go with 
whatever color you are wearing. Um, I love the design of this. I love the size. Actually, it comes in another size, which is bigger, but then it wouldn't be um, a rectangle like this. It will be more square shape. I love the strap. The fact that you can adjust it however you want is a dream. <laughs> of course, it can't be too long, but this is a shoulder bag. You're supposed to have it like underneath your shoulders anyways and I love this length I think this is perfect I don't think I have to personalize the straps because I really like this one and oh wait let me show you closer up in detail so this is the first hole the second and the third I'm using the third one which is the shortest one they have here you can see it says Celine on here I love the bag I love the canvas Oh yeah, since I'm reviewing this bag, I should also compare it with another Celine piece that I own. I also own this Celine piece, which is a vintage um, pouch or toiletry. It's in macadam canvas and it has this Celine logo in on leather right there. But it has plastic zipper, which I'm not in love with, but it's okay. Really love the metal Celine logo right here though. Compared to the new one. I obviously love the new one way better. I think it's quality wise, the leather here is obviously different from here. This is more of a soft leather, as you can see. This is hard and it's kind of compact and shaped. Well, if you're gonna pay thousands of dollars or euros on a bag, then it better be a really good quality. And canvas. I love the Triomphe canvas. It's the most beautiful canvas I've ever seen. I actually prefer the Celine Triomphe rather than any other canvas like Gucci or Louis Vuitton, anything. This is the most beautiful and elegant and classy bag for me. I also really love this but it looks really vintage, it's really grandma style. <laughs> so this is just uh, a pouch that I use as a toiletry, I don't walk around with this bag but this is my baby. To be fair, I haven't really seen a lot of uh, influencers with this bag, so I'm really happy that for now it is quite unique still, but who knows? I mean, Lisa is the one who promotes it, so it can be really, really popular, and I think it is already popular because it was really difficult for me to get my hands on this bag. It's not a lot for me to review as I just received this bag, but I am planning on making a video in the nearest future, what's in my bag? And I will probably talk more about and I will probably talk more about how it is to walk around with it, wear it, and just quality wise. Well, thank you so so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I know this video is not for everyone out there, but if you are interested in this bag specifically then I hope this video somehow helped you to decide whether or not it is the bag for you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and check out my social medias if you want to. I'm mostly active on Instagram. <laughs> I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!